In this session, we're going to have a look at the search capability of CRM Haven. Now you find the search capability in uh, behind the search tab here at the top of the CRM Haven window. Now if we click on it, you'll see that we get three columns worth of data and four rows. Now all of them are identical. It doesn't matter which one you can you can use one starting at the top or the end or use up all four of them if you want to. Uh, it will automatically uh, or it'll only use the criteria that's actually got data uh, information uh, requested to be searched about it. Okay, let's have a look at the first column. The first column has a pop-up with all the different fields that relate to, to any particular client. So you can choose any of the fields that you want, uh, whether it's name or ID or whatever it is that, uh, that you're looking for. And on the right hand uh, beside that, the second column, is the criteria that is applied against that particular field. Now we're looking at a text field here, so it'll have all text type information like wh whether it contains a value, doesn't contain a value, whether it's blank, in other words completely empty, nothing's ever been put in it, or not blank. S the, the text starts with, the text ends with, that sort of thing. Now you'll notice that these criteria change depending on the particular uh, field that we've got on the left hand side. So if we go and choose a number based field on the left hand side you'll see the criteria changes to things like is greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, things like that. If we choose a value on the left hand side as, that's related to a date, so for example the created, you'll see that we get a date up here on the right hand side in, month, in uh, year, month, day format. Um, uh, if we get choose a value on the left hand side which is a true or false, you'll see that it greys out the field. In other words, that the, the data in that field is not going to be used at all. Instead, it's going to be using the true or false uh, data on the right hand side uh, criteria there. Okay, <coughs> so that's uh, what the um, uh, the field and the criteria for. Let's uh, use an example. So let's get, for example, look for country. Country contains, I'll just get rid of this date value, and we want to know all of those countries that are uh, related, uh, that, that contain the word America. And we'll go find, and that, what that will do is it'll go off and find only those clients uh, who have the value America somewhere inside their client field. Okay, as it shows there. If we also said, show me where the client contain the country contains England, and you can put in portions of a, of, of the text. You don't need to pull the, put the whole lot in, and we go find. You'll notice that none the no clients meet that criteria because it's very unlikely that you're going to have a country which has both America and England uh, in the name. Now, by default, uh, the criteria use the AND. In other words, all conditions must be met. Instead, what you could do is change this to OR. And what that's going to do is show us all the clients who contain either America or England. So now if we go find, then there we go. There's all the American ones. There's England all mixed in between them. Now. If instead we wanted to find out all of those, all of our clients who we deal with who are in neither America or England, what we can use is something like doesn't contain. So we can change this back to and and change those to doesn't contain. So we want to find out all the clients other than those who are in America and England. So it doesn't contain America and doesn't contain England. So let's do a search now and there we go. Now what we can see is that we can see different countries that have been either entered in uh, from other countries or entered in incorrectly. Somebody's gone and put a postcode into the country uh, area, all that sort of stuff. So that can be useful for, um, uh, for helping cleaning, cleaning up your, uh, the data in your, uh, uh, cleaning up the, your list of clients. 
Um, okay, hopefully that will give you an idea as to what different things you can put in. You can put up to four sets of values in there. You can change them around as much as you want. Hopefully that will uh, prove useful for you. I'm sure you use it a lot to uh, find exactly the clients you need. Now the clients that are returned <coughs> will be dependent on the values set within the limit here, but uh, that's for another video to go and have a look at those. Okay, thank you. Goodbye.